So what is going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome to a new video, a new kind of series and I'll just keep updating the series, what this is going to be about. It's about Think 5 where I take 5 minutes of your time, usually less than 5 minutes only and uh, would discuss some of the meta programming side of, side of things. For example, not the code itself, not you know just typing code on screen and showing you the output but the actual things which go into programming like you as a developer how you should approach things you know what you should do in order to maximize your i don't know efficiency proficiency we'll see um as the time goes how you respond but the idea for this video is one of the most common questions which is asked from me is how do you get into web development now the very straightforward answer for this is that it depends right first of all figure out if web development is the right tool for you a lot of people are learning web development because it's a fad or it is super cool and you can do so many things but you might not need to learn the whole web dev if you just want to automate a stuff automate something maybe python is good for you so just try to figure out one of the reasons any reason why you would want web development yes of course jobs and everything is fine but if you're starting as a clean slate then you know you it might be a better thing to actually go for a field you actually enjoy and like and if it is web development well and good enough once you have done that number two is to stop listening to everybody that's that's the fact because right now in the web dev world there is too much noise everybody knows everything so everybody pitches like they know everything but the fact is that a lot of people what what is not being talked about is that uh, a person who followed a certain journey a certain path to become a web developer that path might not be the right one for you you might be someone who learns a lot by doing practical things like building stuff not by watching tutorials some people are like that they they like to consume a lot of content and they take notes and everything me personally i have never taken a single note for the things i learn myself so i i, I just it's just kind of comes natural to me and even if it does not come natural i watch the content over and over again i, I do not take the notes i'm not the notes guy for some of you however notes is a thing which works so you have to figure out how you actually learn right mostly there is this video content there is practice on online sites like uh, you know free code camp and code dam and um you know the interfaces like code academy has and free code camp has so those interfaces allow you to have hands-on practice there's that number three which i uh, you know recommend a lot is building actual things actual projects so that kind of things really help you as an individual so you have to pick which one is your strong area spend 60 percent of time in there and 20 20 percent time in the rest of the things okay so once you have done that you should be getting familiar a little bit familiar with uh, the front-end technologies people like to jump into back-end immediately um, it kind of surprises me a lot of times if you want to become a back-end developer sure you can start with a language or anything but if you're on your own if you're learning individually that is the case with you won't believe a lot of people so in that case almost always you want to have a little bit of skill set from every place right so you want a little bit of skill set from front end as well as well as from back end so that you can actually deploy a complete solution because in web dev these are pieces of the puzzle and if you're not able to fill all the pieces you won't be able to you know complete the puzzle and uh, yeah so if you want to get into web development easiest way is to start with front end learn it a little bit move on to back end if you have back end in mind if you have front end in mind only just do it nicely and uh, then get to cloud you know there's a lot of things continuous integration deployment stuff like on the back end you can learn to configure servers and all that good stuff the important part is to learn is to keep going and to practice a lot and uh, choose your own path make your own path take inspiration from others but don't follow um, someone blindly on online sites so yeah those were five minutes of tips and hopefully that has been helpful see you in the next one